Okay, so now what I want to do is I want to look at the components of GDP. And to do that, we obviously first need to define what it is. So gross domestic product. or GDP, it's the final market value of all the goods and services produced in the country over the course of a year. And there are generally two approaches to calculating it. There is a income approach and an expenditure approach. So there's basically two ways you could find out um, how much the economy is producing. You could either count up all the money that people are receiving for doing things in the economy, or you could count up how much people are spending in the economy over a year. And theoretically, the two should equal each other, because how could people spend money that they don't have? Right? Even if people have to borrow money, you're borrowing it from other people who aren't spending all their money. So, you can't create something out of nothing in an economy. Either we're talking about adding up all that people are earning or we're adding up all that people are spending in some way, shape, or form. Uh, basically, because this is an introductory course and I'm just trying to focus our attention and um, care about how much time we spend on things, um, we're going to focus only on the expenditure approach. This isn't that controversial, um, and you shouldn't feel that it's too limiting because um, it's probably an easier way to get at least a basic understanding of what's going on here. In the expenditure approach, we basically have four categories. And those four categories would be consumption, which starts with the C, investment, which obviously starts with an I, government spending, which obviously starts with a G, and net exports. C plus I plus G plus N X. Adding up these four things gives us our GDP. So what we need to do is we need to talk about for our economy how much uh, these things add up to and what's contained in them. The GDP in the U.S. As of 2017, so that will date this lecture a little bit if you're watching this in future semesters, but um, it's approximately $19 trillion a year that our U.S. economy is producing um, every year. And of that $19 trillion, mm, close to 70% of it is coming from consumption goods. About 17% of it is coming from investment goods. Approximately 18% of it is coming from government spending. And about negative 3% is coming from net exports. So we're going to obviously talk about well, how something could be negative, um, but it'll become a little clearer here. In consumption, what we're doing here is we're counting goods and services. bought by people. And it's 
we become overwhelmingly a service-based economy. Within goods, we typically split them up into two kinds of goods, durable goods and non-durable goods. Durable goods would be goods that are going to last eh, generally five to seven years or longer. Non-durable goods, that'd be like me buying uh, a sandwich. Hopefully I'm not hanging on to a sandwich for five to seven years. And then services. Mm, that would be things like what you are spending money on right now, right? Education, um, right? Uh, you know, taxi cab service, um, anything like that. Um, but we're, we're much more so a service-based economy. But again, this is, in the U.S., it's a pretty high percentage, much higher than most of the rest of the world, if not the highest in the world, 70%. Then 